What's up everybody? Dr. Grenfell from Elite Spine and Sport. Today we're going to clean up our sit to stand transition. To begin, I'm going to get my feet set out a little wider than my hips. My knees are going to be in line with my toes. I'm going to keep my chest up nice and tall so my low back stays nice and straight. That's the key to this movement. I'm going to lead with my chest upward as I use my legs to go ahead and stand up nice and tall. To sit down, I'm going to back up towards the chair. I'm going to keep my back straight, my chest up nice and tall, my knees out in line with my toes, and I'm going to go ahead and sit right back down in the chair nice and tall. Pretty simple. Let's see it from the side. So to review, uh, I'm going to scoot forward if you'd like to. Ideally, my hip crease would be a little higher than the top of my knee. My feet are outside hip width. My knees are in line with my feet or my toes. My back is straight. My chest is tall. I'm going to lead with my chest up towards the ceiling as I stand up nice and straight and tall. And to sit back down, I just do the opposite. I'm going to back up towards the chair, keep my knees out in line with my toes, sit back nice and straight and tall. Every time you sit to stand, getting in and out of a chair, using the bathroom, getting in and out of your car, this is an opportunity to put less stress and wear and tear on the low back, hopefully leading to less pain and potential injury. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think.